before we begin this video, I want you to share this video if you wanted to play as Johnny Silverhand and this video helped you by showing you how you can play as Johnny Silverhand without using any downloaded cheat software, just straight up an exploit that's in part of the main story. So I'm going to show you guys how to explore Night City as Johnny Silverham. Big shout out to All Day Gaming for showing me this insane exploit. Uh, you can straight up run around Night City as, as, as Johnny Silverham. Get screenshots, on, whatever. Uh, if you thought that this video was a clickbait, you're about to be disappointed. It is absolutely real. It is a thing you can absolutely do. So right now, we are in a flashback in the dark web or whatever it's called. This takes place shortly after the Sasquatch mission. And uh, then after that, you go into the dark web with uh, in order to do this Johnny flashback. Uh, once you get to this point, you talk to Rogue, and now you get like under attack, basically, and you need to get out of here. Before we begin, I do want to say you want to turn your game to easy before doing this, because when you are in Night City, the enemies are normal level, and apparently Johnny Silverhand is like level one. So even like on easy, it's gonna be a nightmare to fight anything. You're just gonna get one tap by you know any high level, higher level enemies. It's crazy. So definitely, definitely, definitely turn it to easy before doing this. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to not kill anybody. Me killing that one guy might even messed it up. I don't know. We're just gonna run through though. You can't kill these guys, or else it'll transition a cutscene a little bit, and then you won't be able to get out. But if you, come, if you just run through and ignore everybody, go straight to the elevator, call the ele elevator. You gotta wait for the elevator, obviously. Helps be uneasy. You can just chill. Okay, get in the elevator. We'll take a moment and then go ahead and go to parking. If you do it like this, then it'll let you escape. So. We're gonna get up here, we're gonna wait for the elevator, and then we're gonna run past, if there's any enemies out here, which I think they might not even spawn because we ignored those guys, let me see. Okay, yeah, yeah, so these enemies did not spawn. The, the, the cutscene did not advance because it only, you, killing those guys is the trigger to advance this dialogue and this cutscene, this whole like flashback. If you don't advance it though, there won't be the two cars right here. And if those two cars aren't right there, then you can just jump over this wall and you can escape to the left. And there won't be a barrier to teleport you back. If you kill those guys in those rooms I just ran through though, it'll teleport you back every time you try to run out here. But now we're free. Freedom. We are now in Night City. We can do whatever we want. Uh, it's really buggy. We can get the cops on us and they'll probably one tap us if we actually uh, fight them because cops are super high level. Uh, you can find cars and motorcycles but the only way to find them is through a static spawn. And what I mean by that is spawns where a vehicle will be there no matter what, like at a crime mission or there's an area where there's always just a bunch of motorcycles every time you render it in or something like that, then you can find a vehicle. Otherwise, there are no vehicles. Uh, I'm also gonna show you a bunch of things. I ran around and tested a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna clip it all together into this video and we're gonna take a look at some of the things that you can can't do in Night City. You gotta be really careful though. Very easy to soft lock. Uh, very easy to uh, make yourself have to redo that part I just did so you can get out into Night City again. You cannot open the menu. Uh, it won't let you open the menu because it doesn't want you to switch weapons. Uh, you can't use fast travel stations. And uh, I'm trying, I think that's pretty much the bulk of things. Cyberware is really weird. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, yeah, so I was trying, hoping to find a car, but you know, I'll just show you in some clips as I, I'm gonna clip it all together now, everything that I did. We are now heading to V's apartment. Very slowly and steadily, the elevator takes us. We're gonna see what, to find, what we find at V's apartment, if anything. I've heard that if I talk to an NPC, I've heard from All Day Gaming, if I talk to an NPC, it might soft block the game. I'm assuming he talked to this one. Oh man, I'm afraid to open that. We'll go back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's go look at the apartment before we do anything like that. There are a lot of ways to soft lock, and there is no way to save the game. It just says you can't save right now, so you are hard committed to this. 
Uh, there are missions that you can go around and do, but you have to actually know where they are because you can't see your map. All right, V's apartment is a thing. Now the most pressing question of our time, is Mr. Nibbles still here? I don't see Mr. Nibbles. We're looking. You guys see it? Where's Waldo? Nope, Mr. Nibble spawned in. Oh. All right, life has meaning again. Can I go to sleep? Try that again. Nope, it won't let me. All right, then. Oh, oh, whoa. I don't know what happened. Oh, I think it did. I think I did go to sleep. They just, they just skipped the animation and then just bam, after a certain amount of time, it just counts as I got up out of bed. All right, let's see what else we can explore. By the way, be afraid of fast travel. <coughs> if you hit a fast travel, it'll do this. Can't move, can't do anything, but you can escape. If you hit pause, then it shows you a normal map. And then uh, if you try to fast travel, it'll just take you out, nothing happens. So that's what fast travels do. Let's take a look at the weapon shop guy, see if it soft locks me. I really would love to buy a Meta weapon and be able to do the flying exploit. Oh! Oh my god, we might be in luck. And I still have my money. Okay. We're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna buy some knives. Okay. Knives. Knives are good. Oh, I can't open my inventory. That's right. It doesn't matter. There's no way to open your inventory, so I can't change weapons. Oh, that is unfortunate. Maybe we'll find a way to open the inventory later. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Let's go see about. Let's go. Let's go visit Victor. We have arrived at Victor's place. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Oh, what the hell did I see? Oh, my shadow. Hey, it's Victor. What's up? What's up, bro? Uh, so saw a weird mural on the wall. That must be a normal thing that's been happening anyway. I haven't seen Victor in a while. He's thinking about swapping some chrome. And I have male V's voice, even though I'm playing as female V. Uh, <laughs> Victor doesn't look too happy. I don't think he wants to sell me cyberware. Yeah, I think I don't think this one's happening. I could try another another river dock at some point if I run the one or drive the one all right so we found motorcycles uh so basically you can find cars but it's got to be at places where there's static car spawns so one of those would be uh oh my god sorry hold on a minute we have something more pressing happening right now oh boy would you look at that wow that is quite the uh the position to ride a motorcycle from man that looks comfortable yeah wow look at that that's that's crazy okay well anyway as i was saying uh if there's a static vehicle spawn like at a crime mission or at like some back alley garage where there's just always vehicles there kind of like a normal object almost then uh you can get into those like that one right in front of me here to the left that one's probably always there and if i get into it that'll work Okay, hold on. Also, you can check your map. Let me see. Find out where the hell you are if you don't have the place memorized. Go to a, if you see a fast travel, then go to the fast travel, use it, and then press start. And now you can okay. Now you can see. I'll well, start me pause. Now you can see where you are and what direction you're facing, which will help you orient yourself to try to figure out where the hell you want to go. Uh, I could try to do a side mission, but it's definitely gonna crash the game probably or something. We could try. Okay, now the million dollar question I was wondering. Can Johnny talk to Johnny? So, down here is Meredith Stout's body. And if you go here normally for the first time, it's a cutscene. So we gotta see... If that cutscene will happen, or if she's even here for that matter, if that cutscene will even happen with Johnny Silverhand. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. 
And it's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. What's up, bro? I can't do... Photo mode is not currently supported. No! Militech, don't forget. Can I not do it underwater? Or is it because I can't do it during cutscene? Yeah. I'm going to drown soon, Johnny. Make it fast. I can't do it underwater. We got to find an above, above water one to get a photo. Okay. We're going to try an actual Ripper Doc that I don't have dialogue with. Oh my god, he has nothing on. Oh my god, I can put stuff on. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, throw him on Arasaka. My other, apparently my other V. Oh, you can't even throw it on. My other V has the Netwatch Netrunner equipped or whatever, so I can't, I can't equip that. Anything that's on the other V, I can't put on this one. I wonder if that slot is full because of other V. Let me try a slot that I think is empty. Let's try putting this on. It just disappears. So it does put it on, but it's putting it on to V, not onto Johnny. Well, if I if I get through this somehow and I somehow went back, and then you know uh, got back through over that wall somehow, and then uh, if I got over that wall somehow, and then went back and did the mission and came out, I bet you V would have all this equipped now. Okay, yeah. So anything I can't unequip anything off of V, can't swap anything out. But I can put new stuff on V, but that's only going to be on V, unfortunately. So Johnny does not get that luxury. And there's no way to change the weapons on Johnny. There's nothing special to do with that. All right, good to know that that is how that works. Okay, so Ripper Docks do work, but you can only swap V's equipment. Okay, I know this one's a side mission. So let's see what happens if I go into this one. It's gonna be really hard with Johnny's crap weapons. But can I take him down? This might be the play. That did not work. He was too strong. He was too powerful. Thank God I have it on easy before I do this. Before I like you know initiated the exploit. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if I can trigger something. It's playing at like 5 FPS, dude. It's bad. Thumb, something's breaking, dude. Something's breaking down. Thumb's not working, <laughs> right? I got my two NPCs following me, though. I got my bodyguards with me. I can't get in there. No technical ability. Do I need technical ability to do this uh, gig? Let's finish this quick. Let's about to find out. Oh, it's playing so bad. So many things are weird right now. I can't loot either. No such thing. Okay. If I can use this, I might soft lock when I do this. I don't think it pauses the game when I do. I think it's supposed to, but it doesn't. Whoa, 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 oh my god, the damage. Better be careful. That guy almost one tapped me on easy. So I don't understand. I think Johnny's like level one. So even though these guys are probably like level 20. Uh, or less, they're like impossibly hard for Johnny because Johnny's level one. That's my guess. I'm gonna die here. Oh my goodness gracious, that was scary. Look, like my bodyguard don't actually do damage. Now what? Was that the door that needed a technical ability? I think it was. Okay. So, whatever the objective is for this gig must be in this room. Oh, if only I could swap for a higher level weapon. Pressing all the buttons. There's nothing. There's no way to put it on. 
So if there are side, if you can even do side gigs, there's like no indicators for anything. So it's impossibly hard to figure out like if, if you can even do them at all. I don't know if I can even, I don't know what the side missions objective is. I'm sure someone watching the video will know exactly what it is. I have no idea what the objective for this one is. I've never done it. All right, well, let's, let's try Let's move on to something else. Okay, so the NPCs at the roller coaster are just gone, but I gotta see if Johnny can ride the roller coaster. Oh, that is disappointing. I cannot... Oh, I can! It just skips the animation. There's no animation. All right, Johnny Silverhand riding the roller coaster. It's a shame you can't ride Johnny with Johnny, Johnny because you can't... I don't know, I've already done the roller coaster. You might be able to ride Johnny with Johnny as the passenger. But you would need uh, to have not done this yet. And even then, I don't know if you'd be able to do it. Even if you know what to do. Or maybe, maybe not. It might, it might freeze the game. Who knows? A lot of unknowns. Well, now I know. Johnny Silverhand can ride the roller coaster. Wow. That's pretty funny. Okay, so don't ride the roller coaster. <laughs> There's no way to get out. Once you get off of it, you are stuck. But you can't apparently look at Johnny's butt while looking down. Something this is not not normal in any way, shape, or form. I've tried hitting every button. Up, oh, up, oh, wait. Can you pull out your weapon and then uh, it lets you move? But you're like whatever. You put take it away and then you get stuck like uh, this. That's it. So do not ride the roller coaster. You're gonna have to reinitialize this this exploit all over again. I hope you found this video helpful. Now you know how to play as Johnny in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, again, shout out to All Day Gaming for finding this and telling me about it. Uh, if you guys are wanting to play as Johnny Silverhand or run around and explore Night City, well, now you can do it. It's going to be buggy. It's going to be glitchy. You're going to soft lock a lot. Uh, it's going to be hard to find a car. But there's nothing stopping you from going around the world and being Johnny Silverhand and talking to Johnny Silverhand as Johnny Silverhand and getting screenshots of Johnny Silverhand standing next to Johnny Silverhand and anything Johnny Silverhand that you can think of. Uh, be sure to join the Discord and share screenshots. If you get any cool screenshots with Johnny Silverhand and uh, just anything cool that you want to add, just you know go to the Discord, post about it. But now you know how to find or how to play as Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk 2077. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot, even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!